Daniel Chalabar back to Cedric Kipre. And Palmer switching the play across towards this left-hand side, but it's gone through Swift oh, and God. Townsend oh. straight through to Barley Mumba, but his pass is short, and Swift regains possession for Albion. Gets Mowat away through the middle of the pitch. Mowat looks right and left. Oh, Mowat will have go himself here up to the edge of the penalty area. Takes oh, it just and past the post. outside of the post and bounces behind for the first corner of the night. Alex Mowat inches away from giving Albion an early lead down here on the south coast. Well, it's a great break. Connor Townsend slips down right in front of us, and, and you can just see it just opens up for him. You just, it's being begged to hit, isn't it? Because it looks like some of the ones they're not they're not gelling at all, which is which is great for us. Here's there we go. Lovely ball over the top, and Andy Vyman's in behind. Row. First time shooting chance oh, for Vyman. Yeah, it's save. a save by Connor Hazard. Well, it was always going to be a tight angle yeah. for Andy Vyman, but the ball did sit up nicely for him on that right foot. Tried to hit the cross goal, but Hazard made a good save. And it's good play from us. We take the throw in quickly. It's a lovely first touch from Jed and a lovely through ball. And like you said, the angle was against Vyman. And in fairness, the keeper stands up and does well. Just outside of it now, in line with the six-yard box. Fellows gets to the byline. Oh, Cross comes well. in big towards the back post. Kipre nods it down. Oh, he's got brings it down and lays it off to Jed. Oh, he's in the post. the post! And rolls across the goal line. Oh, no. Out to the left-hand side of the penalty area. It's picked up by John Swift down the line. Here's Townsend's cross into the edge of the six-yard box again. And it's a free kick given for a foul by Cedric Kipre on a Plymouth defender. Albion so, so close to scoring the first goal of the night here. Jed Wallace seeing his strike cannon back off the post. Well, I thought Chalabar should have hit it first time. He's took a touch, which I thought was the wrong decision, but he obviously knows better than me because he lays it back to Jed Wallace, who rockets one through a lot of bodies. Keeper's got no chance at all, and it comes off the inside of the post. Back to Mowat. Mowat to Wallace. Wallace down the line. Cross comes in from deep towards that. There it is! Oh, what a save! Tipped over the top what of the save. bar by the goalkeeper Connor Hazard, who was called upon there. Nathaniel Chalabar has never scored for West Bromwich Albion in the league. That's probably the closest he's ever come. Hazard with a fingertip stop to deny the midfielder making it 1-0. Well, in fairness, he does everything right, apart from trying to get it down a little bit. It's a nice height for the goalkeeper. Whipped in towards goal this time from the right by Mowat towards that near post. Oh, it's it's there it is. And it's tucked in to the back of the net. And Cedric Kipre there he is, is the beneficiary from a bit of pinball the penalty area which Plymouth weren't able to clear and Albion make their second half dominance counts it's one of the set pieces that they've had in this game finally they've capitalised on one of them and Cedric Kipre gets his second goal this season to make it Argyle nil Albion won well it's a little bit unconventional for Cedric Kipre I would imagine the ball comes in it's not a great ball in but it ricochets around like a little pinball like you've said Jason ends up with a tap in for Cedric Kipre it was a matter of time until it came 10 yards inside the Plymouth half towards the left hand touchline Mowat clips it over the top that's a clever that's ball clever. to bring in Mikey clever Johnston ball. flag stays down Johnston will go himself hasn't got many options Have steps inside Mikey Johnston still oh, oh that's goal. spectacular there it is Mikey Johnston there it is two and bends it into the far corner away from Connor Hazard a moment of magic from Mikey and the Albion are two goals to the good at home park. Well, he never had a lot to do. No, no, sorry, never had a lot of options, did he? He had plenty to do. But he steps his... It's a lovely ball to Alex Moat. To Mikey Johnson. He comes in. So, but you just you said it 30 seconds ago. For me, I thought he was... He played well the other day. He was very direct. He's been... You know, people have said about his end products. Well, there's a bit of end product for you. Top bins. How's some of that? 2-0. Game done. Mikey Johnston's second goal in navy blue and white stripes and what a goal as well with 15 minutes to go into Eric Peters oh that's Peters a clever forward. ball great ball to Mikey ball. Johnston go on then we the might get another one unloaned Celtic winger to run again at the Plymouth back four lays it to the edge of the penalty oh, area Wallace in. Jews and it's a it's tap, a tap in, in for Tom, Tom Fellows to make it 3-0 <laughs> to West Bromwich Albion <laughs> it's been a complete second half performance from Carlos Corberan's side Wallace is shot saved by Hazard and there was Fellows perfect place perfect time perfect result Plymouth Argyle nil, West Bromwich Albion three. Well, he won't get a simpler goal, Tom Fellows, will he? Great play again, a great ball out, I think, from Eric Peters out to Mickey Johnson, Mikey Johnson. Keeper, in fairness, does well, he parries it, but we had, to, we had two players there ready for the tapping. And it's as simple as that. Game done, dusted.